Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Today's video presentation is going to be one that we have seen before, but I have chosen to redo this video presentation because it is well over a year old, and it also happens to cover a great topic. Tonight's presentation is going to be about cloning VMs. I'm also going to wrap in making templates and how to clone templates in this video. It'll make it a little bit longer, but I feel this is all relative and useful information to be together. So, you see over here in some of the different containers and VMs that I have set up. We're going to choose here to work with this Proxmox Server 2. Now, there is no particular reason I chose it other than it will work well. But any VM is going to work just fine for this as well as any container. So, if you right-click on the VM after selecting it, and then go down to Clone, this will immediately allow you to make a clone. You can change your resource pools, which I have none set up on this server. Also, you can select what target drive you would like to use. So, in this case, we're going to use the local LVM drive but I could just as easily use some attached storage from my NAS or some storage from that storage drive we added in a previous video. But let's use this. Now, finishing making the clone is simple as clicking clone. Now you can see that our VM has been added here and we have a cog running down here. When this cog stops rotating, our cloning process will be complete. So, it does take significant time to finish doing the clone. But here is the VM that we cloned. And as you can see, if we start it up, it actually works identical to that of the original clone. There you have it. Here is a successfully completed clone. So now, as promised, we're going to go ahead and make a template of a VM. Now, templates still use the cloning process. Well, kind of. So, if I chose to use, say, this VM that we called print, and I turned it into a template, by right-clicking on it and going down to Convert to Template and hitting Yes, you'll see that the icon for the VM actually changed. Now that it's been converted to a template, when we right-click on it, the only option we have is to clone. And we get two different options for mode, Link and Full. Full is the exact process we just did where it copies the entire contents of the clone or the VM to a new VM. Linked, on the other hand, just copies some of the important files for the VM to the file and it allows the main template to control all the rest of the files. So, let's go ahead and do a linked clone here, so you can see the time difference. Now, remember, the previous clone that we did took about 30 minutes. Let's look at the time difference for a linked clone from a template.
and you can see that it was only a few seconds to do that. Now, this is a very simple container that was set up, and it was super lightweight when I built it. And it would definitely take longer to do a VM like Proxmox. But it gives you a good idea on how much faster a linked clone is versus a full clone and some of the benefits of creating templates. Now, as you can see, there are a few different templates here. These ones, especially, are ones that I use quite often. Now, you'll see that I haven't deleted the Ubuntu 20.10 template, and the reason that I haven't done this is it is linked to some of the different LXCs or containers that are above it, and it is vital that it is there for them to run. So, if you're using linked clones, that is something that you need to remember. You can never delete the template. It is always required to have that template in order for the container or VM to run appropriate. But if you use a full clone, it is not required that you keep your template. So in certain situations, like when software comes out and is updated, it is definitely nice to have used full clones. On the other hand, if you're doing quick iterations and development work inside of your containers or maybe testing work for different software like we do often here, it is really great to use linked clones for their time savings. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video on both templates and cloning of VMs and containers and that you have found it useful. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and consider clicking the bell notification icon so that you can receive updates as quick as possible on new content released by Virtualize Everything. Have a good night.